Now, the problem with amulets is that um, uh, if people have actual problems getting results with them, it's not that the energy isn't there. It's just that for one reason or another, you're unable to draw it in you to the level that you need. Now, here's a double amulet for influencing. So the actual um, person's images are built into this. Um, the same thing here. So uh, you don't have a picture on here as you traditionally do with a standard amulet, which has your picture on the other side here. Um, so it doesn't matter which side you use of this, anyone, and you do the exact, the process is always the same. The only thing that really changes is the energy you're using. So this is an energy to give you more influence power. So you would do the exact same thing. You place it on here, one, two, one, two, you're done. Now it's influencing energy. You put the amulet on and then you continue to touch it at least once an hour and so you connect to that energy. It's just that simple. As I've mentioned, you don't really ever want to see the laser. You're only going to see the laser if you're testing it kind of like I'm doing here. But you're going to shine this somewhere and see it's hard in this kind of film. But you're going to shine this to make sure it's working somewhere. But you don't shine it. You don't look at it. Let me look at it. Well, if you're looking at it and you're that stupid, well, I don't know what to say. But the bottom line is, is that uh, you use the laser um, uh, to make sure it's working, but you don't ever really look at it. You only activate your laser when it's actually touching the amulet. So when it's touching the amulet, uh, you are then able to um, uh, activate it. There's no reason to activate it uh, willy-nilly. And as I said, just be a little bit careful. I don't think too many people look at lasers. You may like to shine your laser on something so you see that dot or whatever. Uh, this is certainly uh, something that uh, you can do if you want to, but you never ever. And of course, don't shine in other people's eyes, pets, etc., and keep it away from children. As I said, note that there is a warning on here. There's a warning that says this is danger. This is not a flashlight. This is not a toy uh, that you uh, play with willy-nilly. If you want to use it as a pointer, I guess you could, or use it with other items. Now, there's another way to do it, and that's sending energy to someone else. Now, here's a picture of someone. You can um, send, uh, here's a unique system of doing it, and this is how you can, it. now let's say you want to take dragon energy and send it to someone. Now, you could send it to yourself, or a friend, or put it in an object. Well, what you do, this is a uh, Polaroid with a, um, you know, Fuji Instant Inst Inst which is the typical cameras you get. There are many of these polaroid type cameras now. Um, and this is very important to use these. These have the energy field of whatever it is in it, unlike digital and other things. They don't carry the energy field. So it's a real problem when you're using this. But if you want to send this energy, you simply put it on here. And uh, you, you simply put it, let me uh, hold that up so you can see it. Uh, maybe we can move the camera down a wee bit. You simply put the, whatever it is, and you can use it, and you put it on top of the photograph, and then you place the laser on it, and to, I usually do a count of five here. One, two, three, four, five, because it's a uh, going into a photograph. Uh, the amount of time you do it isn't critical. I wouldn't do it over the count of five. Um, and so you want to do it a, a count of two to five in general. Uh, you don't want to do it more than that because you're just wasting your energy and time. It doesn't matter. The, the energy has been transferred. You've, what you've done now is just sent dragon energy to this particular person. So if you want to send somebody prosperity, somebody sick you want to send, use a healing am amulet, that's how you do it. So it's as simple as that. So you can send that energy to anyone, any place, anywhere. But it is important... Uh, if you can to get a Polaroid. Now, you may not be able to get a Polaroid because that means somebody has to send it to you, etc. Well, you can use any picture you have of them uh, to do that with. So, if you have to use digital pictures, you use digital pictures. It's uh, pretty much unavoidable. Ideally, you want to use a Polaroid of that person, and if you're working with them or they're a relative, well, um, have them take a picture uh, of that. The other way to do it uh, is to have someone send you a little clipping of hair taped to a 
actual. Now this has hair on it taped to the photograph, but the point is um, you could have somebody cut a little bit of hair, tape it to a white piece of paper, have them put sign their name underneath it, uh, Mary Stewart, uh, with their, a little clipping of hair. You don't need a lot, just a little clipping, and tape that there, and that's a way to make a really fine witness. And witnesses are important because we're sending subtle energies, and if you don't have a good witness, uh, results can take much longer and uh, have a much greater failure rate. Now, but you certainly can do that as well. You can, if it's want to send energy to some person, place, or thing, you can use a digital picture in the same way. It's just going to take longer and it won't be as strong, which means generally you're going to have to do it more often and for longer periods of time. Now, let's say you wanted to send dragon energy into something. Um, what do I got here? But, uh, um, but you can send dragon energy into anything that you desire. Let's say, you, I, of course, I can't find my crystal right now, but um, anything that you want to send dragon energy, you basically just place this on top of it and you activate it. Let me see what I can do. Let's say you want to put dragon energy into this oil as an additional energy. Well, all you do is place the dragon energy I'm trying to do this so you can see it. Let me see how that picture is. There's something covering it with my hand here. So you, all you do is you want to place the amulet next to it. Now, um, how do you get strong transfer of energy? Well, you put your laser next to it. Okay? As you can see. And it's a count to one, two, you're done. So now you just sent dragon energy into here to add energy to this 7 African power oil. Um... And you can do that to anything. You want to send dragon energy to a person. As I've mentioned, you can do that. So it doesn't matter what the amulet is. That's how you send energy. And that's also. So if you wanted to put dragon energy in a crystal or um, into a ring, a watch, um, whatever it is that you have, that's all you have to do. And the energy is done. Now, you should do that on a weekly basis uh, because the energies will tend to uh, leave objects over time. So you, you just don't do it once. You should do it once a week, which isn't much. Again, you're talking about a very short period of time. It's a matter like most things in life. It's a matter of just making it a actual habit. So that's how you use your laser rod. We call them rods um, to actually send energy. It's very, very simple. As I've mentioned, if you have a double amulet, it doesn't matter which side you use. In general, it really doesn't matter. I'd like to put the image towards the actual um, object you're sending energy into. But it's as simple as that. And as I said, the only thing you want to do is be a little bit careful. I hope nobody's goofy enough to look at a laser. So you wouldn't even look at a light bulb directly because it hurts your eyes. So the whole idea is that um, it's as simple as that. It's super safe. It's super easy. Just follow what I've told you. If you have any questions, remember, I'm always here to answer any questions. We get back to people usually within the same day if it's a business day we're open. Um, so the whole idea is that it's just as simple as that of how you use these. And if you have questions, you're unsure, uh, well, always contact me by email and uh, we can... Uh, uh, go into further detail. But I mean, that's it. I mean, this is the reason we make these kind of little uh, tutorials. This shows you very, very clearly. And there are other ones uh, that you should check out as well. So um, it's as simple as that. These are uh, something that um, um, these should give you a lifetime of use. As I said, we use those nice batteries. And of course, oftentimes we supply you with a backup. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Remember, we're always here to help.